We've always known that laughter is the best medicine, but we're not laughing enough, and that is no joke. So our guest to talk about your health and well-being today is Gareth Edwards, who specialises in laughter yoga. Morning, Gareth. Good morning, Mel. Really nice to have you here. So why is laughter so important? Well, it's lovely to be here, and it's lovely to be talking about laughter. And laughter is important in a couple of ways. So on a very simple level, it's all about connecting us as people. So if you tell a joke or a funny story, I laugh to let you know that I get it. <laughs> yeah, good. And I guess everybody, well, everyone will know that feeling of telling a joke and it doesn't land. Oh, And it yes. just feels awkward and yeah. uncomfortable. So laughter helps us gel. It's mm -hmm. like a social glue. On a deeper level, and this is where you get the real health benefits and improvements to your well-being, there's this uncontrollable, irresistible laughter. The kind where you get tears in your eyes and your belly hurts and your cheeks ache. Yes. And that's called real laughter. That is the best kind of laughter. So how do you incorporate the laughter into yoga? So you're not doing your downward dog and having a giggle, are you? It's a little bit different? Some people do. Some people bring it to the traditional practices. And laughter and yoga go way back, right back to the start of yoga. Traditionally, it's called Hashya Yoga. And it's part of the breathing yoga. Oh, you can see it there. Oh, yeah, they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's all about your breathing as well and your breath. That's the most important part. So you do physical exercises and breathing exercises. Okay. Is it best to do on your own or in a group? Uh, I'm going to say both, okay? When you're getting started, it's really good to do it in a group, as you see on the, on the shot there. It helps people break down the barriers and come together. But you can also bring it into everyday life. And I'd like to show you an exercise later. Let's save that one for the end. Yeah. What happens if you don't feel like laughing? If you're just having a really bit of a dud day and you don't want to laugh? I mean, this is the most remarkable thing about laughter. The body doesn't know the difference between fake laughter and real laughter. Really? So once you get going, if you can get over the first few seconds of awkward fake laughter, it soon dissolves into that beautiful real laughter. Do you think we're laughing not, not enough as we get older? Definitely, yeah. There's studies that show that children laugh between three to five hundred times a day. Have a guess how many times adults laugh. Ooh, a hundred? About fifteen. <gasps> fifteen? So we one go from five. one five. So we go from laughing all the time, every minute or so, to laughing yeah. barely once an hour. Wow. And the not, science behind it is really fascinating. That is not enough. Let's do an exercise right now then, because okay. sitting at home, watching the cafe, what can we do to laugh more? Wonderful, I will show you. If you'd we like stand to stand. Up. Oh, yeah. Everybody like to stand? Wonderful. The audience can help us out here. So we have three laughter centres in the body, and I'm going to show you the first one. They all okay. get activated by the old-fashioned crank that you would see on a car. Right. So you put your crank in your belly button, and your first laugh is your belly laugh. And your belly okay. laugh goes, ho. Ho. Ho ho. Okay. Yeah, that's working. Just quickly what's the okay. second laugh then? I'll show you the third one, because okay. the third one always makes me laugh and it's particularly good when big burly men do it. So okay. it's up in the throat. Okay. So you've got a tiny little crank and your throat laughter goes. <laughs> Good. That is great. Okay, well, thank you so much, Gareth. Thank I really, you, really enjoy that. We definitely feel much healthier and happier and ready to tackle the rest of the day.